PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with another mail day. It's number 137. We're doing six cards today, but uh, a few of these are really big cards. So I think you guys are going to have fun with this one. Um, five Jordans, one non-Jordan, a prism black, one of one. Where in the hell did that come from? It was a deal that was too good to pass up from a very good trusted friend of mine and a hobby celebrity. Uh, so let me get you guys over and we will start the slideshow as we always do. I'm showing you the cards from my PWCC vault. It's where I store uh, my actual personal collection, right? I do have cards here all over the place in this office over here off screen, but the cards that I am keeping for Cajun Eternity and even some of the cards that I like to sell uh, at some point in the near future, I keep in my PWCC vault. So if you'd like to know more about that, just message me. Card number one is the banger. It's the big one. It's the big boy. Um, it's not the biggest card, uh, believe it or not, but uh, it is one of the biggest cards. It's the 1996 Ultra Platinum Medallion. They call this card the Step It Up. That is the subset name of the card. It's not an insert Platinum Medallion. It's a subset uh, card number 280 in the set and whenever it's a platinum parallel they add the P up here as you guys can see on the screen This is the easiest way to tell that the card is a platinum medallion the bedazzled nature the shimmer look on the uh, On the ultra logo in the top right and then down here of course you can't miss that it actually says platinum medallion edition And then step it up is in that shimmer as well as the name Michael Jordan so that's what this card is. It's got a little bit of a ghost Scotty Pippen in the background, but interesting little card. Uh, that's what the back of the card looks like. This was a big pickup. This gets me to three of, uh, and I, I put seven. It's actually, I think there's six platinum medallions. So this gets me to three of the six platinum medallions. Um, and so here's we what we got. And you guys have seen these in prior mail days. The biggest and baddest is the 1998 Ultra Platinum Medallion. This one's actually serial numbered on the back to 99. Uh, the second one is uh, the uh, base 1996 Ultra number 16 Platinum Medallion right there. Uh, P16 on the back. You can tell there's a great story behind that card and another PSA 8 copy, which is no longer in my collection. If you missed that, go back and find it on the channel. And then lastly, the one we looked at today. So three out of the six, halfway to the finish line in the Platinum Medallion Jordan set. Next on the list is a, an interesting Tier 4 card. This is the uh, 1997 Awesome Action uh, number 10. I think I pulled it up yeah there it is it's a tier four card so here it is right here wedged between the star attractions gold die cut right under the diamond uh vision signature uh signature moves uh just to the left of this uh, beautiful stadium club first day issue and then right above this uh plat um, players club platinum card right here so awesome action right there uh squarely in tier four where it belongs a good looking insert card here uh it's got the red foil script at the top awesome action so you know uh what this insert is and then down here in the bottom left has got the red foil ud3 logo the back of the card is pretty cool looking as well with that sort of infrared looking green and yellow pattern in the background and then uh, three little photos of jordan going in for the same dunk so awesome action psa 10 not a ton of those out there uh to be quite honest with you so uh that was an interesting pickup as well uh, i saw a 10 and i had to jump on it because there won't be too many of those that pop up next is an interesting card i think it's one of the ugliest cards in the hierarchy if not the ugliest maybe the gold signature uh whatever it's called the yeah i think it's called the gold signature um, but this 1997 <coughs> Skybox Premium, silky smooth with the netting on the top, right? So uh, this is what the back looks like. This card is torn to hell and back. Horrible top left, back edge, um, bad edge chipping on the right-hand side, left-hand side, bottom left corner is white. If you look at the front, bottom right edge is terrible, bottom right corner, miserable. The top left and top right are great. Top right edge also has edge wear, so this card is an authentic, right? I picked it up as a placeholder. I do have another copy of a Silky Smooth with the netting at PSA right now, and so I will be getting that back. I did ask, I think, for that one to get numerically graded because I was just curious. 
I don't know. What do you guys think this would grade if it got graded? I would say a three or a four. That would be my best guess given the edge wear and the corner issues on the card. Uh, here is what I wanted to show you guys. I've just got uh, the pop report pulled up for this card. There's only been 82 ever graded by PSA and Beckett. Nothing higher than a seven. When is the last time you heard me say there is no card of this particular Jordan insert that has been graded higher than a seven, but there are two 9.5 BGSs. So that's interesting to me. It lets me know that uh, while BGS's gem rate is still only 3%, PSA's is zero. Not only is there no tens, there's no nines, there's no eights. So PSA is super harsh if they're even willing to grade the damn thing. Uh, there are copies of this card that have been graded without the netting. I don't know how I feel about that. I think that uh, there's some conjecture out there that that's actually altering the card because it's not like this netting. It's not like the coating on a finest card where you can just kind of use your uh, you know, packing tape and peel the coating and the card is what it is. It's just underneath coating. This is actually hinged. That, uh, that netting you see on the front is actually hinged and it opens like a book cover uh, is my understanding standing and in fact I know it is because I had one of these in the cross country collection that was raw so uh, this silky smooth was a nice pickup for me that I'm super excited about looking at value of this card uh, the BGS 9.5 they're estimating that it's worth 19 grand card ladders totally guessing because there's two of them and it hasn't sold since are you ready for this are you sitting down 2013 is the last time one of the BGS 9.5s sold. If you want to look at the raw sales of this card, there you go. Do your best. Over the last year, raw copies have sold one, two, three, four, five times. So about once every two and a half months. Um, it is up over the last year, but again, it just depends on the quality of the card. Two years, that's what you're looking at. That's pretty steadily up, I would say, except the last two do seem to have come down. So um, anyway, I was happy to pick up this authentic copy, uh, and uh, there's just not that many of them out there. What do we say, 23 or something like that, graded by, uh, graded by PSA. So moving along, just a weird oddball card. It's a placeholder. I'll get the uh, numerically graded copy, and then this, um, that authentic uh, copy will be for sale. Uh, the next huge card, the biggest card, the 1997 SP Authentic Profiles 3. This is the die cut. Uh, it is hand serial numbered, as you guys can see uh, on the bottom down here. And again, that's a scratch on the slab, not the card. Uh, 64 out of 100. Uh, there's the back of the card. It's just an interesting one-of-a-kind die cut. It's unusual. Um, and uh, I really like the card. I think it's one of the best images of MJ out there. Um, and, uh, and you can see the great Akeem Olajuwon, who is the, uh, the victim of so many Jordan dunks over the course of his career, uh, down here in the bottom right. Um, but uh, like I said, this is a tier two card. Uh, the Platinum Medallion is a tier two card. It could be argued that, you know, either or both of these cards belong in tier one. But then again, you got to kick somebody out. You can't just squeeze two more in. You got to kick somebody out. And you wouldn't be squeezing two in. You'd be squeezing six Platinum Medallions in and uh, or separating the Platinum Medallions in order of importance, which we probably tend to do anyway. But uh, two tier two cards, as you can see from the thumbnail, here is uh, the bigger of the two, the SP uh, Authentic Profiles 3. And um, going on, let's move on. That is card number four. Card number five is the big surprise, the big zag, right? The big, uh, the big detour. This card uh, became available through a uh, direct message from my good friend Chris McGill, uh, owner, co-founder of Card Ladder, and uh, former host of House of Jordans, which is kind of what got me started into collecting Michael Jordan cards in the first place. So it was a privilege and an honor to reach out to Chris and say. I'll take it. And uh, we negotiated for about eight seconds and uh, came to terms on a price. And uh, I, this is one of my favorite prism. In fact, I think this is my favorite prism insert, the fireworks, uh, specifically the 2019 fireworks. I just love uh, this image. I also like fireworks, uh, mostly black cats and bottle rockets, but these type of expensive fireworks will do. The, the fireworks in the background of this card are so expensive that my poor ass family in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I'm not the guy that goes in there and buys, you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of fireworks on 4th of July. I buy the cheap stuff that uh, entertains my youngest too, my 10 and 11 year old, and they think it's the greatest thing ever. But uh, fireworks, black prism, one of one. Where's the one of one? Well, there it is right there. Uh, in script on the back. I think this is my only black prism one of one in my collection as far as I know. In fact, I think 99% of my collection is Jordan now, just about, well, 90% of my collection is Jordan now. So I'm quite certain this is the only one of one black prism in my collection. And it was a uh, privilege and an honor to pick it up from the great 
uh, Christopher McGill. Uh, moving along, 3D standouts. And so this is the uh, 1993 Upper Deck Triple Double 3D standouts. This is also a hierarchy card, uh, which you will see in Tier 4, of course. Uh, it does have this holographic portion of the card right here. This is a miserable card to find in high grade. Uh, here is the breakdown. 979 have been graded by PSA. There are 20. PSA 10s. So this PSA 9 is my placeholder of uh, of choice as far as value goes. It's just funny because here's the PSA 9. You're looking at 150 to 188 dollars, something like that. And look at this. There ain't that many of these out there floating around to be had on the public market. And that's why I liked it, and that's why I picked it up. Uh, 2022, one sold. 2023, one sold, and none have sold in 2024. So um, that is a uh, that's a rare card indeed. Let's look and see if a 10 has sold. No, I don't see any tens. Um, see if I can. I gotta spell upper right. Maybe they didn't put 3D standouts. No, it's just not in there. So I just don't think very many 10s are going to sell, especially considering the 9s almost never sell, and there's only 20 PSA 10s out there. So that is the last card on the list. It's an interesting card, to say the least. And um, that's it for this mail day, guys. Going back to the list, like I said, you got six cards only. You got two Tier 2s. You got some Tier 4s, and then you got a Black Prism 1 of 1, um, Luka Doncic, which I am really high on. I think Luka Doncic prices have finally retreated to the point where uh, it makes sense to start looking at certain cards. I wouldn't go out there and buy a silver PSA 10. That's just me. I'm not saying you should, but that's just not my you know pathway back into collecting Doncic. Not that I'm really pushing heavy. This is the only Doncic card I've bought in the last four years. Um, and, um, but anyway, that's it. That's mail day number 137. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and you will stay tuned for the next mail day number 138, where you're going to see another bevy of Jordan cards, mostly that appear on the Cajun cardboard, Michael Jordan hierarchy. Thank you guys as always for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great weekend. Enjoy your time with friends and family and your time off of work. If you're lucky enough to not work on the weekends, keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby and peace.